Hello, this is Alex from MidiSequencing.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up isotopes of vocal synth in Logic. So, first you want to create yourself an audio track. If you just want to use vocal synth as an effect, you can just drop it in as an effect on here. Here it is. And now now I'm coming through vocal synth and you can hear that it does different things. You affect what's coming in. You can also put this on tracks that have already been recorded if you've got audio in here already and affect it that way. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up to play in MIDI mode. MIDI mode's a little bit harder to set up in Logic than it is in other DAWs. If you want to know how to set it up in a different DAW, just click this question mark right here and you'll get your nice and handy manual and it'll show you how to do it. Logic's a little more complicated though, so I'm going to show you how I personally set it up. So the vocal synth doesn't actually come in on your audio track when you want to play it with your keyboard. It's going to come in on an instrument track. So you create a software instrument and let's get rid of this one over here. And on your audio track, you're going to want to do a pre-fader send. So choose a bus. We're just going to go all the way to bus 97 for no reason in particular. And we're going to change the bus. You just click, hold, change it to pre-fader. Now what pre-fader does is it still will send the audio from this track out no, even if you turn the volume down on the track. So the reason we're doing this is because when you're recording audio in on this track, you don't want to hear the raw audio monitored. You just want to hear the sound from vocal synth. And another thing to note, when you create a new send, Logic will automatically create a new aux track. You also want to mute this track. Okay? So we've got our audio track. This is where the audio comes in. And we got a nice pre fader send going to bus 97. So in your instrument track, you go to instrument and go all the way to the bottom. AU MIDI controlled effects. And there's where you grab your vocal synth. Put it in stereo. Here it is. Now to get audio from this audio track into the vocal synth, you go up to your side chain here and go all the way down and you want to pick whatever bus we chose, which was 97, remember? So choose bus 97. Now take your audio track and you want to put it input in record mode. And then for vocal synth, you turn on the MIDI button right here, the MIDI mode button. And now when I play on my keyboard, we should hear, well, let me turn off, let me turn off my regular monitor. Now we'll hear the vocal synth. So that was the tutorial. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Peace.